Yes? Yeah. Okay. Hey, what's up? I'm Roller Coaster Rider. Hi, I'm Kay. And continuing Back to the Future month, we are reviewing Back to the Future Part 2. Or as it should be called, Back to the Future Part 2, way too much padding. Wow. Way too long. And it wasn't even that long. It was like an hour and 49 minutes. The first one was almost two hours, but that one that one moved faster than this one. This one, I'm, I'm assuming that, well, they did kind of set it up for a sequel, but this one really felt like a forced sequel just because the first one was so good. That's fair to say. Mm -hmm. Unless this one is setting it up for number three. Well, at least part three might be exciting because then... uh. They've got done with all the back stuff, so well, now let's start it'll, it'll, living. It'll be a new adventure. Like the first one was, a, the first one was a new adventure. This one was kind of, don't be seen, and you know, dot dot dot, do the do the exact same thing. The third one. Well, this one they had to redo. Let's the let's past just start all over future. again. Okay, so there's something where uh, we finally got to see the ending because this one didn't. Uh, this one started Static with out. the ending. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess if you wanted, you could have deleted a few minutes and you could have turned the first and second one into one long movie. Okay. I don't know why you'd want to, but no. I'm sure there's some uh, Back to the Future fans that would have or would love to do that. So anyway, uh, Mar or, uh, ugh, Doc Brown says, uh, look, you have to go into the future, 2015, and you have to stop you have to stop uh, your younger self from hanging out with Biff. No, wasn't it he had to stop his son? Yeah. With Griff. I thought it was Biff. Biff oh, no, Griff. it's Griff. I'm looking at Wikipedia right now. Yeah, it's Griff. So he had to stop his son from the chain of events that were, were going to take place. That was going to involve, so if, his, that was going right. to involve his kid going to prison um, and just, like, mess up mess up his life right which and then, kind of then did his, mess up his life then his daughter would mess up her life by trying to break him out mm -hmm. so <laughs> but anyway so he had to he went to the future and he took his girlfriend with him and jennifer yes and had recasted to, with elizabeth shoe right and had to change um what was the chain of events? Mm -hmm. What was going to happen? But I do wish I could have tried Pepsi Perfect. That was actually an item in 2015. Oh, but Doc did something to like um, his face. No, no, to um, his girlfriend. What was her name again? Oh, gave her essentially like a tranquilizer thing. Right to like put her neck her out, so it would all be like a dream. Everything mm -hmm. that was going on. Again, I'm looking at Wikipedia. Why? Uh, trying to find it out. What part? Keep talking. Electronically knocks her out, so. Right. Mama said knock you out. Mama gonna scream and shout. Okay, don't. You have no <laughs> Please don't do that. Okay, so. That's an LL Cool J song. Oh, okay. So anyway, um, long story short, they... They solved the problem. The kid doesn't go to jail. However, uh, Griff uh, finds the sports almanac from 1950. No, to Biff. Two Isn't it Biff who finds it? That Old bad it? guy. Uh. Okay. <laughs> One of the Biffs or Griffs had overheard Marty and um, Doc talking about the sports illustrate or about and, the sports and betting. about the delorean yes so what so essentially did, bad guy goes uh back to 1955 and essentially turns uh hill valley into this might offend people the ghetto basically right because he had all like the, the money. Like the sketchiest place on the planet. Right. He had all the money. So Biff took the DeLorean, took the sports book, went back to 1955. Became a millionaire overnight right. and yeah. then uh, married... Um, Marty's mom. Yeah. I can't remember her name. Where's it say? Lorraine or... Yeah, Lorraine. 
and um, then um and spoiler alert kills his dad and gets doc brown arrested for like criminal insanity or something right, committed mm-hmm. um so they had to change all those changes all of those events so then they so then they have to go back to 1955 to the exact day mm-hmm and get the Sports Illustrated book back. Yeah. And and not run into oh, themselves. Wait. wait, they have to get it back. Wait, they have to try again to get it back. Wait, wait. he has to try again <laughs> to get it back. Wait, he has Ooh to try la again la. to get it back. Ooh wait, la he la. has to try again to get it back. Oh my God, there were like 10 times in this movie where just a rewrite, just take the book and go. Right. The reason why I feel like this is a that this was a forced sequel is because so much of it is just filler not only filler but the first part is almost shot for shot remake there's a fight there's a fight in the right. uh, in in the in diner the soda shop uh he steals some he steals a kid's machine which is a hoverboard, which he then breaks it off, and as a result, he uses it like a skateboard. Holds on to the car. Yep. Holds on to a car while he's being chased. And then, kaboom. Uh, there's other stuff that's repeated. Uh, we found we finally found out the song was what? Johnny Be Good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you wrote that in the comments of our first review, well, yeah, we learned finally. Uh, <laughs> we're heard at the and, second time oh my gosh how many times did Doc Brown have to say great Scott in this movie like 15 times oh wow yeah. was he paid every time he said it but but the thing and he is, also said it he also said it differently most times like he went like great Scott great Scott great but the, the one thing the one thing that Marty and Doc were trying to stay away and not be seen or see themselves in that age. But Jennifer did see her life in the future and then did see herself in the future. This movie was so So they, they weren't they weren't it... able to warn her by, you know, even like, you know, shocking her into like a dream because those two police women found her and took her home and mm -hmm. yeah so um i don't care i'm going to spoil it just because it's a lame gag because the first scene because the first movie was kind of funny by mm -hmm. having uh biff or griff or biff mcruff the crime dog whoever his name is biff was in the first one by having him uh ram into manure yeah. Of course they had to repeat it, except this time they made it. He it, was alone. He wasn't with the other It didn't people. make sense and it wasn't funny. The other people. They actually well, it actually was less funny be, it, it was less funny because it I don't care I'm going to spoil it because this movie isn't really worth your time if you like the first one. Yeah, but we're going to see the third one, so and fortunately, Ooh, we're going to see the and we're going to see the rides, which is about twenty minutes. So I'm sure that's going to repeat some stuff, but you know, twenty minutes. Uh, I mean, what we am I going to what am I going to say? Oh man, they could have cut fifteen minutes from this. <laughs> okay, but anyway, so let's uh, wrap it up. And um, what did I want to say? You were um, going to spoil it because the movie wasn't worth it. Oh yeah, he crashes into manure, but the. But it's not like wet manure. It's like dry manure. But that was the same in the first two. No, the first one was like wet manure, wasn't it? Oh, I thought it was dry. And of course, they had to up it by having the dry manure get into his mouth. So he has to go, I hate manure. It's like, Ugh. But. And there were. and I didn't think that. Um, Doc would go into the future again and then the ending with the letter and everything else um, mm -hmm. I was not expecting that ending that might have been an homage to the first one maybe but we're gonna have to see hopefully the third one is <laughs> funny uh, because I do. they did give you some um, yeah they give you a tease yeah 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I do want to say that the... Uh, I think it does look like it's going to be funny. The part, the Jaws 19 part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with the with the hologram shark. That was scarier <laughs> than... That was scarier than the first Jaws because, you know, the shark attacked. Yeah. Yep. I'm sorry, folks. The movie... It it doesn't have the pacing. It hasn't held up well. Um, yeah, and hopefully Jennifer can change some things so they don't end up in the bad part of town, and you know he doesn't get fired and he continues with his music. But I was wondering, his fingers getting smashed, was that because of the desk in the high school? Or was it in later life that he's supposed to get his finger smashed and not continue with his music? I don't know. I don't either. The movie didn't care to mention, so I'm not going to care yeah. to think. So, but anyway, but yeah, if you want to watch it, I'd say go why? ahead. Go ahead. If you're going to watch one, you got to watch two painfully, and then hopefully three is decent. Otherwise, skip it, but then you might not know... Like, our DVD didn't play the ending of the first one properly. So, so that's we the had only good perk it. we had for yeah. watching this. <laughs> the beginning gave it to us again. So, yes. Um, is there anything else to mention? Uh, the movie kind of got political when it seems the entire city went downhill when gambling was legalized. Well, and plus, when they went to the future, the mirror was still the same. No, no, it was, oh, the, it was third. the third. It oh, was that's his, right. It that's was right. his, uh, his grandson. great-grandson. Yeah. That's true. Wait. Yes? His son, his grandson. It was the father. Son, grandson, great-grandson, yeah. Yeah. So, sorry um, about that. Because there were all these signs, re-elect. Yeah. But anyway. Um... That's it. There's not really yeah. much. Yeah. So I think have a great night and hopefully you'll catch us on the review of the third one, Back to the Future number three. And the ride. And the ride. Okay. Have a good night. Pray for us people. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.